Welcome back to our Quick Start series. Today, we'll be diving in on Sudorite's selection menu and quick tools. Did you know there are a few secret features on Sudorite? They're not really secret, but they are sort of hidden in plain sight. They live in what we call the selection menu. The selection menu appears when you've highlighted a selection of text. It's actually a pretty smart menu. It will only ever be populated with options that are relevant to the text you've highlighted. Here's what I mean. Highlight a single word and you'll see a few alternatives that you might find in a thesaurus. Click on 15 more and you'll open a panel that we call related words with even more suggestions available. You can select another word either directly from the selection menu or from related words here for a quick inline replacement. With a single word selected, you also have the option to either describe or quick edit. We've already reviewed the describe function, and I'm sure you can imagine how getting some sensory details might be applicable to a single word. We'll look at quick edit in just a moment. But first, notice how when you highlight a full paragraph, the selection menu changes. Joining describe and quick edit are rewrite, which we've already covered, expand, and visualize. Clicking visualize will generate an image inspired by your selected prose. Just like all of Sudorite's other AI features, the results of visualize will show up in a card in the history column on the right. Meanwhile, expand will take a selection of text and make it longer while adding some new details. As you can see with my selection here, I had a very brief paragraph where someone left the orchard for home. And after expanding it, it has slowed the action into a more methodical and detailed journey. Now, returning to our quick tools, whether you've highlighted a full passage or a single word, clicking Quick Edit will open this window. Quick Edit is designed to take your natural language instructions on how you'd like your selection to change and apply those changes for you. For example, if I take this passage we just created with Expand, I can use Quick Edit to say, change this to first person. Quick Edit will generate a fresh edit in green while leaving a struck through version of my original prose in red. Meanwhile, I can use this toggle to switch over to Quick Chat. Quick Chat is a story aware chat. That means it can look at all of your documents, but it also has everything in your story Bible in its brain. So you could say, remind me what genre this is supposed to be? Or you could ask, who's narrating this right now? You can also use it to brainstorm, ask its opinion on a selection, and much more. By default, both Quick Edit and Quick Chat are free. That is, they're included with your Sudorite subscription and do not use up credits like most AI features. There is a high quality mode which does use credits that you can optionally toggle on. It's available for more complex tasks, but it should rarely ever be necessary. That about covers it for the selection menu and our quick tools. Let us know what questions you have in the comments. And be sure to join us in our community Discord and free weekly classes if you want to continue your Sudorite education.